Hi, in this video we're looking at something called Charles Law. Charles Law is one of the major gas laws. We call these empirical gas laws because they just relate to uh, components of a gas to each other. Charles Law relates volume to temperature and it holds pressure constant. So the pressure is not changing and the amount of the gas particles isn't changing either. So this is just what happens if we heat a gas at constant pressure and amount. And what actually happens is this, the volume increases. Uh, if you look at the left side there, we've got the same number of particles as we do on the right side. Um, but you can see depicted by the little thermometer icon there that the right side is much warmer than the left side is. Now temperature is related to speed. So the faster the particles are moving, the higher their temperature will be. And when that happens, at a constant pressure, they can, if they are in a container that allows this to happen, they can expand to increase their volume. Uh, if they're moving around more quickly, they're gonna want more space to move. And so that's what happens when the temperature increases, the volume rises to the occasion uh, and increases as well. So what does this actually look like algebraically? It looks like this, V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. And don't forget these ones and twos don't change the math. The ones and twos represent situation one and situation two of the same gas. So you can kind of think of this like it's a before and after situation where this is the before side and this is the after side. Now one thing to mention, anytime you're using temperatures and gas law equations, they have to be represented in Kelvins. And the reason why we have to use Kelvins is because it's possible to get a negative Celsius temperature and that could result in a negative volume when you're using this equation and that can't happen. So we have to use a temperature scale that's only positive. Luckily, Kelvin's is it. So the other thing with this is that when you set it up as a fraction, when volume or temperature increase, the other has to increase as well in order for this equals statement to be true. Uh, when one decreases, the other has to decrease too. So this fraction situation is good for represent direct relationships. Charles Law is a direct relationship. And again, what that means is as one variable increases, the other also increases and vice versa. So let's do an example problem. This says a gas occupies a volume of 200 milliliters at zero degrees Celsius. What volume will it occupy at 100 degrees Celsius? So one of the first things you should notice is that we've got Celsius uh, temperature measurements in here. So usually what I do is I draw a diagonal arrow through that so that I remember not to use these. And then what I'll do is put the Kelvin version of that answer um, up on the top right here. So 100, or I'm sorry, zero degrees Celsius. If you add 273 to that, you get 273 degrees, I'm sorry, not degrees. It's not a degrees because it's not negative. It's just 273.00 Kelvins. Over here, 100 plus 273 gives you 373 Kelvins. Uh, and then we've got this volume of 200 milliliters. These two things have to go on the same side of the equation. And I usually just set V1 and T1 to be the side that has uh, a complete set of information. Truthfully, you could plug those in as V2 and T2 and you'd get just the same answer. So let's use this uh, Charles Law equation. 200 milliliters goes up on top. Uh, on the bottom, I have 273.00 Kelvin. And that's going to be equal to V2 on the other side. I don't know this. Uh, some of my students I've noticed have just put X in there because they're used to solving for X in algebra classes. And if that's comfortable for you, uh, do that. Um, and that uh, on the bottom, T2 is going to be 373 Kelvin. Now at this point, what we want to do is cross multiply. I want to multiply 200 by 373. And then I'm going to divide by 273. So here I go. 373 divided by 273. And I get that V2 is equal to 273, ironically, 273 milliliters. So that's my new volume there. Okay, so that's Charles Law. It's actually relatively straightforward. This is gonna build up to something called the combined gas law. But what Charles Law itself says is that as temperature of a, of a gas is heated or cooled, the volume will increase or decrease respectively to match that. Thank you.